If I told you that there's a bug out there that kills other insects, then drapes itself with the carcasses of its victims, you might think I'd been drinking. And interestingly enough, the first time I saw a lacewing larva, I had had a few. If I make this basket, you subscribe. Please subscribe anyway. I was on my back porch one night doing some serious meditating when I just happened to look up at the soffit and saw a pile of dead bugs scooting along. Was this another version of seeing pink elephants? I thought to myself. As it was still moving, I ran inside and grabbed my camera with a macro lens so I could get a closer look. As it turns out, it was an insect with a huge pile of carcasses on it. More specifically, a green lacewing larva, and the carcasses consisted of carpenter ants and other insects, along with a little bit of sand. Although somewhat knowledgeable about lacewings and having seen photos of larvae, sans camouflage, I had never seen one with a bunch of junk on its back before that night. It was fairly mind-blowing. Now, the lacewing is a very beneficial insect and is known as a gardener's friend, as it eats many garden pests. It's not at all creepy, but the larva is out of this world bizarre, running around hoarding body parts like the Ed Gein of the insect world. I miss my mama. For this video, we'll just focus on the larvae and green lacewings in general, as there are about 85 species in North America, north of Mexico. I find the weird world of lacewing larvae to be extremely fascinating. Not just their behavior, but also the results of that behavior. While some of these bugs use just enough to cover themselves, some pile junk so high it's hard to imagine how they do it. I mean, look at this. How do they do it? That's something I still don't know. They use Elmer's glue? How do they get them so high? Do they roll around? They flip them up there? What's going on? And I'm still learning about these creatures, so I will report what knowledge I've gathered so far. It is believed that lacewing larvae cover themselves in carcasses as a form of protection against predators and as a sort of camouflage. But it's not just carcasses. They cover themselves in all sorts of items, including sand and plant material, such as lichen. According to entomologists, lacewing larvae pile junk on their backs to protect themselves from predators, but also, and perhaps the more important reason, to create a wolf in sheep's clothing effect. Lacewing larvae are sometimes called aphid lions, as aphids are their preferred prey and aphids are sometimes protected by ants. The ants act as shepherds and farm the aphids. The reason they do this is to collect a sugary secretion produced by aphids known as honeydew. Ants understand that when lacewing larvae are near, they're there to eat the aphids, so the ants will defend the aphids and kill the intruders. Carcasses of past victims and other pieces of organic debris make a great disguise for hunting aphids. Now, I've written newspaper columns about these insects in the past, Fairly recently, I received an email from a man in Bangalore, India. He said, Thanks for your excellent description of this weird insect. Do they also exist in India and Asia? Sorry for the poor shots from my mobile. Are these the same? Thanks in advance. He also included this photo. Now, I'm not an expert on insects around the world. In fact, I'm not even an expert on insects in the United States, of which there are thousands upon thousands of species, so I had to do a little research. I was happy to reply to the man that yes, there are lacewings in India. I thanked him and said, It looks like there is at least one species of lacewing in India, Chrysoperla salemi. I'm reading that that particular species is very important in Indian agricultural crops. This is fascinating. Thank you for this correspondence. Best regards, Randy. I really was excited to find out that there were lacewings 8,500 miles away. I'm going to guess that after seeing the larvae, the man conducted an internet search using the term garbage bug which is what I did that night when I first saw one. That's probably how he happened upon my column, which is titled The Garbage Bug. People also sometimes call them trash bugs or junk bugs. Lacewing larvae kind of look like flat caterpillars with six legs, are brown and white, and grow up to a half an inch in length. Their bodies are about two to three times as wide as their heads. However, when they are covered with debris, they are often much wider. They have large sickle-shaped mandibles to feed on their prey. The mandibles are strong, but hollow. Through them, the larvae inject enzymes into the prey to liquefy its insides, then consume the contents, also through the mandibles, like two straws. <laughs> Adult green lacewings are about three quarters of an inch in length, are light green, and have lacy wings. 
Green lacewing females can live for several weeks, and during that time, they can lay up to about 300 eggs. Green lacewings lay tiny white eggs on long, thin stalks. There is a good reason for the stalks. When an egg hatches, the larva that emerges is immediately hungry with a voracious appetite. The larva will eat just about any type of insect life it finds, including the eggs of its siblings. So, a mother lacewing places the eggs at the end of the stalks to help keep the larvae from siblicide. This action also keeps the eggs protected from other insects. The stalks are made from silk and harden quickly. The always hungry larvae begin to eat as soon as possible. The process of junk collecting begins soon after hatching. Larvae go through stages called instars. Once ready, a larva will pupate inside a small round cocoon. After some time has passed, it will emerge as an adult. Larvae feed on soft-bodied insects, such as aphids, but will also feed on caterpillars and some beetles. Adults primarily feed on nectar and other fluids, but some species also consume small insects, including aphids. Thank you for watching Randy's Natural World. Please subscribe to my channel. I miss my mama.